Here, though. So, I hate thinking badly of family. But did Uncle Gamlin seem a little slippery when he talked about Grandfather's will? If he, say, invested money that was meant to be Mother's, do you think he would tell us? Gamlin can't say good morning without lying twice. Mother's been in such a fit of melancholy since Gamlin told her how angry her parents were about father. She told me she wishes she'd died with Carver. It's like coming here ruined every good memory of her childhood. I wish we could get some of it back. When this Deep Roads expedition comes through, we can buy her home back. Move to Hightown. Gamlin told me he gave the estate as payment to some slaver who beat him at dice. Apparently, our ancestral home is now a base for slavers from all over Thedas. Good. Then we can break in, and I don't care if we kill them. I already talked to both of them about this. Gamlin said they guard the front entrance well. But Mother gave me her old key. She said it should unlock the cellar. Apparently, the sewers run right beneath the house. Well, that's an option, something we can go and do. Ah, damn, I gotta change my key bindings. Okay, I'm back. I had the microphone uh, keyed to the wrong key. Oh, hold on. Ah, who are we gonna choose? We have uh, Darktown. Oh, Darktown. That's a nice place. Oh, uh, now which um, few different options of quests we can go and do? Uh, let's go to Darktown. We haven't been there yet, have we? Darktown is essentially the last sort of like city block that we have access to, that you're gonna go to in the game. It's the poorest of the poor. Like, Lowtown is Lowtown, but, uh, this thing's worse than Lowtown, and that's Darktown. Criminally crazy criminal underbelly. Boom. Look at all this shit going on here. I'm getting all screwed up here. Give me a sec, I gotta get my bearings straight. There we go. Look how bad that was. <laughs> Screwed that up pretty bad. Been a little bit since I played this game. I had my my uh, I wonder if clicks backwards. My sometimes when I'm trying to get home from the market, it's a scary place. But this is yours, if I'm not mistaken. You found it. By the void, I didn't think. Thank you. The hell's this guy again? <laughs> ah, whatever. Moving on. Ah, there's nothing over here. We want to pick up a quest, or do a quest. So, here we are. Hello, Tom Wise. Tom Wise? Huh? Oh, Hawk. Haven't seen you since we did that job together for Athenra. Been a while. Heard you're going on some expedition into the Deep Roads, and right into Darkspawn territory. Sure that's wise? I fought Darkspawn before. Just watch your back. That's all I'm saying. Say, you still in the market for some poisons? A Thenril's scarce these days, and the Coterie have their own mixers. You find any rare reagents and want me to whip you up something, just let me know. In fact, since you're an old friend, here's a recipe. My speciality. Everyone needs an edge sometimes, right? Okay, that wasn't the quest, but, uh... So, there's no circle among the Dalish. Any child with a gift of magic is apprenticed to a keeper. In another clan if there's no need in her own. That sounds nice. Magic is a gift of the creators. Why wouldn't we use it? It just seems... wasteful for humans to lock their mages away where they can't do any good. But, 
You are a blood mage. Yeah, it's a difference between a Dalish and the rest of the world. Ah, well, I guess we're gonna go break into the house. The Dalish don't have the same reservations or fear of magic that the humans do. They have probably even less fear of it than, like, the Preventer people do. Broken and started a murdering. They're slavers, though, so I guess it's okay. Ah, eh, take it all. Junk or not junk, I can drop it at a vendor. Now, we're not really uh, gonna accomplish, accomplish much by doing this. Because, uh, regardless of whether whether or not Gamlin went and did do what we're accusing him of doing, which is forging the will and going and and say uh, forging a will that said that he got everything and then went and spent money that didn't belong to him. It doesn't really matter at a certain point because the estate's already sold. We're not exactly going to, hey, we're not exactly going to be getting the house back by breaking into it. But, you know, we're here anyway, so why not? I don't like the looks of this. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I was going to do a an archery base for this, but I decided now I'll just go dual dagger. A little bit more entertaining. Get over there and kill, Hawk. Oh, everybody's got a level up. I'm not going to bother doing this right now. Okay, that was really weird. And I forgot that I was controlling Meryl for a second. <laughs> Gets a little chaotic. be a little hard to tell sometimes where you are or where they are. I got something there. I didn't bother reading it before I took it. That's the vault. All set. Everything we want to know about our family is inside. This is it. Grandfather's will. Mother needs to see this as soon as possible. We'll take it to her right now. Oh, yes. Sure, let's jump cut there. So I'm just saying, blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. It's only fair if you make something of a monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Uh, maybe just put something towards food. We found the will. He forgave you, Mother. Grandfather left you everything. Here, read it. Uh, ah, I should maybe... To my daughter, Leandra, and all children born of her. The estate in Hightown and all associated revenues. We have a home, Mother. A real home. They forgave me. Mother forgave me. But, Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. 
What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is. You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Ah, well, we still don't have a place to live. We're still in this dump, so... Uh, by the end of that, we really didn't accomplish anything. Why don't you go pick up something at the market? You could use some air. What? Hey! I can't believe Gamlin stole Mother's entire inheritance. I mean, I can believe it. That's the worst part. I could never turn against my own sister like that. Talking about Gamlin leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Well, hopefully we'll be out of here soon. You know, when we went to look for that will, I thought we were doing it for Mother, for what she lost. I didn't realize how much it would mean to me to know I had grandparents who didn't hate me. They might have been all right with the Ferelden thing. But just imagine if they'd known you were an apostate. You're such a wretch. I was just hoping it would be different this time. Here in Kirkwall. We're not running away again. We're coming home. Are you unhappy here? I wish I could do more for Mother. Carver's dead. It's killing her slowly every day. But maybe if we can reclaim some of what she lost, it will help. I'd do anything to get us back a normal life. Why did Mother and Father work so hard to keep you from the Circle? Would it have been so bad? I guess at first, I was just a little girl. They didn't want to lose me. And once I had learned anything... What would the Templars do to an active apostate, not just a mage blood child? It changed their lives, your life, Carver's, all because of who I am. Sometimes I wonder if it would have been so bad to be with my own kind, to serve the Chantry as Andraste demands. What do you think Carver would have made of all this? He would have hated this place, all the sneering nobles. He'd have gotten himself arrested the first day. And he would have wanted in on your Deep Roads expedition. Anything to make a name for himself. Sometimes I still can't believe he's gone. Can you imagine if we'd grown up here? Been nobility? Had grandparents who bought us Elysian silk dresses with lace petticoats. Father was a good man. But Mother gave up so much for him. Of course... If she hadn't worked up the nerve to elope, she probably wouldn't have been able to resist the Templars either. If we'd been born here, you'd be nothing more to me than a name the Circle kept in my file. We're going to make this our home, Bethany. I promise you. I hope so, sister. I'm so very tired of running. It still has her to talk to. What's going on here? I found this when we were at the estate. I thought you should have it. Is it? I think this is Mother's betrothal portrait from when she was supposed to marry the Comte. Look! You can see the ring. 
You like it? I love it. My whole life, Mother's always been so sad and worried. All because of my cursed magic. I always wished there was some way to take that burden off her. It's nice to have a reminder of a time when she still knew how to smile. Oh, and we're done. Oh, we got Peppany Friendship there. Where's that standing, anyway? I guess I really can't tell right from right here. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get the hell out of here.